Sports. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. A big night across the desert southwest with five teams playing in either semifinal or championship games. Let's get right to it, to Otai Ranch High School, where the jungle traveled for the party. Great crowd on hand for David Milan and the Tigers aiming at a CIF title. The San Pasquale Warriors, the only team in their way. Make that the Golden Eagles. Midway through the first quarter, don't play with the freshman. He's tough. Gio Robles takes it himself, spins and finishes off the glass. Tigers taking control up by 10. Then it's Jared Nixon getting the dish from Seth Shaw. Mid-range jumper, pure, plus the foul. He'd go to the line for the three-point play. Tigers go to the locker room up by 13. To the second half, the Golden Eagles now in catch-up mode. Aaron Fournier going the distance. Fancy move in the paint for the lay-in. David Scariano not cool with that. He gets the pass up top, takes it, and hits for three. Tigers by 17. They would pour it on the second half in a great offensive showing. They hang on for the 68-56 win. Here's the celebration afterwards after the clock hits all zeros. Tigers are the Division Four champs. Here's head coach David Milan and junior David Scariano on winning their first ever CIF title. It feels great. It's probably going to seek in more later on tonight. Right now, I mean, I'm happy. These boys work hard all year long. I told them it was going to be a special year. They believed, and we did it. Ever since I came into high school, I always wanted to win one of these, and, you know, our school never did it before, so I just put in the work, and I, I knew what we had to do, and we came out here, and we did it. So They got her done. To Phoenix, where the Yuma Catholic Shamrocks in the Class 3A semifinals against Luke Shaw and top-seeded Valley Christian starting in the first quarter. Fernando Vasquez Lima gets the ball down low and uses his size to get the basket. Rock strike first. Next possession for YC Vasquez Lima. The facilitator as he finds Ryder Voach for the bucket. Shamrock's up by four. How about more from Vasquez Lima? Yeah, here he is again. This time kicking out to Zebi Patani in the corner. And splish splash. Rocks out to a five-point lead against the top-seeded Trojans. YC would lead by one after one. Here come the Trojans, though, a little bit later. Luke Shaw from three-point land, and he hits to put Valley Christian up two. The Trojans would get their lead to seven with just under a minute to go in the first half. But the Rocks are pesky. Under 15 ticks left in the first half. Rocks get the ball, and then they'll nail the three at the buzzer. Yuma Catholic heads to the locker room down just by four. But in the second half, the game would slip away from Yuma Catholic putting an end to their playoff run. The final score is 71-62. Back to Chula Vista, top seed of Palo Verde and the Lady Spartans of Central for the Division IV title in girls' hoops. Let's go to the first possession of the game. How about a little scoop and score action? Yeah, pass picked up by Galilea Seriano, and she will go all the way, the easy lay-in. Central on the board first. Yellow Jackets answer right back. Watch this in the corner. Mary Jane Dagnino off to the other Dagnino. Charlotte finishes off the glass to nod it all up. Central would get hot. High post dish from Maya McLean to Mora Garcia. Fires from deep. Buries a triple. Spartans retake the lead. Couple trips later, it's number two's turn. Brianna Martin steps into this one, and she is cash money. Lady Spartans would take control. Lead by 11 into the end of the first quarter. But the Jackets then bring the sting. Down by as many as 13. Ruby Felix says, I'll take that. She connects from long distance to close the gap. Next trip from way downtown. Bailey Johnson shoots it from Blythe and hits. We have a one-point game. Why not some more? In transition, Dagnino in the corner. Mary Jane, we're out of the shallow now. Palo Verde goes on a 15-0 run into the break, taking a 22-20 lead in the end. Jackets hang on, and they are now crowned CIF champs. Cole Johnson is in San Diego, standing by. Hey, Cole. Yes, yeah, Scott. Now, at the end of the night, we knew there would be at least one CIF champion from our local schools in a head-to-head -head battle between the Palo Verde Yellow Jackets and the Central Spartans. And as you can see, standing next to me is the head coach of the Palo Verde Yellow Jackets, Irma, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Dagnino, excuse me, here with the final moments, people wrapping up here on the court. An incredible night. Back-to-back -back CIF titles for the Yellow Jackets coach. Immediate feelings right after. How does it feel? Uh, excited. Super excited. A little scared there for a moment, but excited. These girls have fought to the end for the last half season, man. They don't give up. They're fighters. They don't give up. Right. Now, you told, now we mentioned just before this, a 15-0 run ahead into the end of the first half. Explain that and how that led you to the win. 
You know what? Uh, we were off a little bit. I think that's how we started this entire season, just off a little bit at the beginning. But we figure it out. We find our spot, and we just start shooting. Our girls get hot there, find the three, and then we start shooting. So confident. It takes a minute to build that confidence for us. All right. Congratulations so Thank much, you. Coach. And Thank now back to you, Palo Verde, the champs again. Scott, back to you. Thank you, Cole. Down the road over to St. Augustine High School, where the number two Lady Tigers of Imperial playing for the Division I championship against number one seed, Modern Day Catholic, the Crusaders. Yes, there they are. First play of the game, Modern Day moving the ball. And Coco Eckridge with the three and the splash. First on the board are the Crusaders. Shortly after Sierra Morris gets fouled, goes to the line, makes one of two. Tigers down by four. Crusaders up by two with six minutes on the clock. Mistake made by Modern Day, and the Tigers take control. Nayeli Cardona passes to her sister Zero Mara, taking it up court and back to Nayeli. Uh oh, loses it. Here comes Georgia. Oh, sweet Georgia with the huddle to knock it out of play. Good defense. Nayeli knocked down. Modern Day's Ackridge dribbles around. Zamara takes the jumper. No good. Tigers back in action as Zamara dribbles it up, finds Morris who sees Gomez wide open back inside the paint to Amy Riley. Riley with the layup and in. He's got a two-point a two game. Ackridge, watch this, to Muckerman, wide open for the three. Nothing but net for the Crusaders. They extend their lead, and it would be modern day taking this one. But the good news is Imperial will still qualify for the state tournament next week. Here's Sierra Morris and head coach Pancioni after the game. I mean, it's the first time in school history we've uh, gone this far. Go to weather it's, uh, after. You know, it's a great good. honor to be here tonight. Modern Day Catholic is known for their basketball. We knew it was going to be a really tough game. Uh, they played in open all year. So, you know, we came in, we fought, we battled. We, we were hoping for a little closer or a better outcome, but it just didn't go our way tonight. Even though we made it to the championship and lost, um, I still felt that we made history in the Valley. You know, not many teams can say they've been to the D1 championship. And us girls were able to do it, and we tried to represent our city as best as we could. Crazy night of sports, right? We're going to keep it right here. We brought uh, Melissa Zaremba back in. We've got San Luis boys soccer going for their first state title tomorrow at 7 o'clock. That'll be at Dobson High School. They're 0 for 3 in state title so far, so hopefully the fourth time is the charm. Let's bring in Melissa Zaremba now. We've got about 30 seconds weather-wise as we get into the weekend. Yeah, I mean, tracking more active weather. I mean, we had those gusty winds just a few days ago. I mean, even tracking some really likely chances for some rain for our Saturday. Even stronger winds will start to rejoin again. And also colder temperatures as well for Sunday. So lots still to come. And even going into next week, another storm system with even more rain still in our forecast. So yeah, busy week with weather. So get ready and maybe have those rain boots and an umbrella ready for for tomorrow. So yeah, lots still to come. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you for watching tonight. Jimmy Fallon is next. Have a good weekend.